Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and I'm in my PJs because it's really cold. But um, I have an unboxing for you, an unbagging technically. We're trying out a new temporary filming location because where my mom, uh, in my mom's living room, our living room, whatever, my mother's house, we have a huge bay window and the sun is coming in really, really brightly right now. So this is the sofa in the back part of the room. And we're just trying filming here. We don't, you know, I don't know. We'll see how well it goes. But um, anyway, I have an unboxing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it, from Tea Turtle. I have not bought anything from Tea Turtle in a couple of years. But they had an amazing sale. It was a flash sale. So I don't think that sale's going. But they do have lots of other sales in rotation, as does everybody, because it's Thanksgiving week. But um, they had their pins were all 50% off, I think. I think they were 50% off or something. I don't know. They were all on sale. And I think they were like $3 a piece, which is really incredibly cheap. And when you see the quality of these pins, you'll understand. So this is the cute, cute packaging it comes in. Yay. Tea Turtle. And it's got some of their iconic characters. Just covering my address. But um, I've purchased pins from them before. And I've purchased t-shirts. And I think that's all. I am not 100% certain. I'm actually going to try to cut this bag open and see if there's some way it can be reused. If I can just take the label off because this is adorable. If I had like a light package to ship somebody. Oh, no, you got to cut through the yay part because there's like a seal here. It's not like a seal you can open. But if I cut underneath the yay, we might still be able to salvage the cute animals. This is just adorable, adorable packaging. I think that'll work because we're well underneath where it's like, what is it, like crimp sealed or whatever. Sorry, I also have a little bit of colder allergies going on, so forgive me for sniffling. Okay, this is just like a checklist with barcodes, I guess, of all the items that I bought and a list. It's not, um, it's weird, it's like a sticker, but um, I don't want to show it to you because I'm not sure, well, I guess I could... No, I don't want to show it to you because it could give away some of what I'm going to be opening. So anyway, yeah, this is really unflattering. I'm not sure I'm going to like this, but for today it'll work. And then inside they're just sealed up in this. So they technically didn't have to even use that outer packaging, but I have no complaints that they did because it's super cute. And this I'm going to cut open as well because it is a bubble mailer. And I do always try to reuse my bubble mailers. There's legitimately no reason not to reuse this one. It's completely blank, still sealed on this end little tape and voila so if you ever get packages from me know that they will probably come in reused packaging but i don't see any reason why people shouldn't reuse it if it's in good condition so it doesn't have an invoice per se like a typical invoice it's more like a checklist i guess kind of with barcodes it's more for them than for me so it doesn't list the prices but i feel like i paid three dollars per pin and um i got eight of them i think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did. And then, um, and then shipping. I don't know. I felt like I paid like $25 for this. It must have been more than that, though, because shipping in addition. But anyway, all right, enough of that. So let's pull out these guys and show you what we've got. So this one is apparently, this is the only one in a different type of packaging, not just the standard tea turtle backing card. It says Unstable Games. <laughs> So I don't know if that's a collab with somebody or if it's an actual game that Tea Turtle created, but this reminds me so much of the scene in, Ralph, uh, in The Simpsons where Ralph Wiggum puts the ice cream cone on his head and goes, look, I'm a unitard. <laughs> so anyway, here's a unicorn with an ice cream cone on his head. He meant to say unicorn, obviously, but Ralph Wiggum is not the brightest guy. So that just made me laugh and it's just so adorable. So here again, here it is out of the packaging. The colors are beautiful. These are all hard enamel pins. So they're smooth to the touch. There's no indentations and like raised edging. It's just all flat and gorgeous. And that is the back. So I don't know if you can even read that or if you need to read that. Let me see if I can focus it. Okay. So I guess that tells you a little bit tea turtle and unstable games so there you go but he's so cute or she i don't know why i sign gender to things they don't need that okay um then the rest are all just tea turtle branded i'm just grabbing them in no particular order i'm going to take them out of the plastic and show them to you that way rather than showing them to you twice 
That one is called Ice Cream Unicorn, according to the packaging. This one is called, according to the packaging, oh, it does, this one doesn't have a name, a name on the packaging, but I can find it on the list. This one is, I'm not cute, I'm per evil. And it's true. I don't know. Some might say I'm cute. <laughs> On a good day. Definitely not evil. So yeah, it's kind of the opposite. But I thought this was so stinking adorable. So I got that one. And in case anybody's wondering, yes, I really am trying to declutter. But I do continue to allow myself to collect pins and stickers. Because they don't really take up any space. And patches. Basically all the things that come in the uh, Brat Box subscription that my dear Billy bought me for uh, my birthday this year. And I'm gonna be so sad when it's over, but I have more months to come. I'm really excited. Okay, next one. Okay, I'm gonna save this one because it's got a special feature. All right, I don't know. I'm just looking at them all. Oh, this one does have a name. Okay, this one says Boba Cat Pen. Guess why? Because it's a Boba Cat Pen. How cute is that? Excuse me. I mean, seriously, like, here's my thumb, and here's the backing card. So it can kind of give you some idea of the size on these guys. They're at least probably, I would guess, an inch and a half to two inches in size, most of these in height. So, I mean, they're good size pins. They're not teeny tiny little pins. Is that an inch? Yeah, probably more like two inches on this guy. So cute. And again, I'm saying guy, no gender signs, just... A word okay this one is okay this is the one for last with a special feature which I may not be able to show you we'll see next up we have this adorable panda and this one is called my happy place pen and this because his happy place is reading a book and I'm, I'm making these all male why am I saying he they I don't know but anyway this is the panda and this is my happy place. This is his happy place. Whatever. I'm just going to say he because whatever. <laughs> and he is happy with his book. And I am always happy with my face in a book generally too. Unless it's a really crappy book. Alright. Next up we have this one. <clears throat> and this one is Crafty Fox. And it, it the fox is actually holding a paintbrush. I'm not really good at painting, but I liked the general idea of just being crafty in general. The general idea of just being crafty in general. Yes, I was an English major. Clearly, you can tell by my great use of words and grammar. I love that one, too. This one is funny. This one does not have a name, but on the check, pseudo checklist thing, it describes it as Night Owl. And... Yeah, no. Just want nothing to do with life. Just give me my coffee and fuck off. No. <laughs> I love this. I think it is so stinking adorable. This is a larger size one too. That's in fact even larger than the Boba Kitty. No. Yeah, a little bit. It's a tiny bit larger. The smallest one so far, just height wise, is that this is my happy place. But he's a lot wider. Just to give you again an idea of the sizing. And then this one is just so stinking cute. It just grabbed my attention right away, so I had to have it. This one is Danger Noodle. And come on, really? Like, how precious is that? I can't even. Since my husband and I have been pass holders to the Bronx Zoo, I can honestly say I'm getting a lot better with my fear of, of snakes. I've been afraid of snakes for my whole life, and... Now when I see them at the zoo, I can really appreciate what beautiful reptiles they are. And they're just gorgeous creatures. And very few of them would ever hurt us. And if they did, it probably wouldn't be because they wanted to. It would be because they were defending themselves or felt they were. But um, yeah, I do love me some snakes now. So I'm getting there. Wouldn't own one yet, but getting there. And then last but not least is this one. Boo sheet. <laughs> Because this is some boo sheet. And it glows in the dark. Ah, I'm so excited. We're going to go into my bathroom and try and experiment and see if we can get it to show glowing. So let me try that. Hold on. Here we are in my bathroom. And there he is glowing. I don't know why I'm getting all this weird reflective glare. But 
you can definitely see him glowing. There we go. That looks good. And I didn't even have to like charge him in quotes first because it was already so bright in the living room that just that little bit of being out of the bag charged him right up. Okay guys, so anyway, oh we have a Lazy Susan here, that's pretty cool. I do have a Lazy Susan on this table so I can make myself look not quite as terrible, maybe. I don't know, I'm all over the place. But anyway, so those are the eight pins I got. I am beyond thrilled with them, I really am. I'm incredibly stoked to have them in my collection and um, I didn't show you this specifically, but I do want to. So this one has one back on it, this is the unicorn. But I believe all of the teacher, oh no, okay, this one only, I wonder why, this is kind of a large one. The boba one only has one pin back. Um, let's see. And the panda reading the book only has one pin back. But the rest, Danger Noodle has two. Crafty Fox has two. Hope we missed this. Oh wait, no, Pure, Pure Evil also has two. And then Boo Sheet and Night Owl both have two. Oh, I didn't mean to flip you off the double flip off there that I'm kind of doing. It's pretty funny. Um, but anyway, so that is all my pins. I'm really, really excited about them. I don't, you know, buy myself as much as I used to. I really, really don't priorities um but every once in a while I'm gonna still you know buy myself a little treat because life is short and you gotta have a little bit of fun and make yourself happy once in a while right so anywho that is my tea turtle pin haul and yeah I really want to say that I spent maybe it was it, it must have been more like $30 or closer to $30 because again the pins I thought were $3 each would be 24 and I feel like the shipping was nearly five. So it was more like $30 with the shipping. And um, for some reason, and I don't know why, Tea Turtle does not offer free shipping. Like, I don't think it matters how much you spend. I'm almost certain that you still have to pay the shipping. And that's kind of a bummer. Most places, if you hit a certain plateau, they do include the shipping for free. They do, it a weird, they do have a weird option with Tea Turtle, too. There were like two different shipping uh, choices that were within like maybe 24 or some weird number of cents within within each other bad grammar again and I chose the one that was a little bit more expensive because it said that they should come in like four to six days and it took a little longer than that but maybe that's not counting the packing time and whatever they did come pretty quickly I don't remember to be specific what day I ordered them and I don't think this has a date on it it does not but um I'm you know that's just a thing about Tea Turtle that I wish that they would offer because they have great t-shirts, they have great stuffed animals, they have so many wonderful things. Um, I mean, if they had had, say, you know, spend $30, get free shipping, I mean, obviously I could have gotten a couple more pins and it would have been like the same price. But even if they offered like with $50 or something, you know, throw in a t-shirt or two, I don't know, sometimes it's worth it to me. The idea of paying for shipping is just kind of, ugh, you know, I'd rather have more stuff. I mean, who wouldn't? But um, anyway, so that is it. I'm babbling. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if this is a terrible camera angle or something we can work on because I am pretty comfortable on the couch. I have like a pillow to support my back here. We can just kind of lean back and chat now a little bit. But um, I am pretty comfy. I'm just not sure that it's as good of an angle. It's not very flattering to me, but as long as it's good for you guys that it's, you know, you can see everything clearly. You can hear me well enough. Um, I could probably pull the camera a little bit closer, but right now I'm too comfy to move. But anyway, that is my tea turtle haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I will be back soon with more stuff. And if you know where that last line comes from, please comment down below, because I'm really curious if anyone gets my little outro. I always try to end every video with, I'll be back soon with more stuff. And that's, there's a very specific reason I do that. It comes from an old television show. So basically, you know, you could just Google it. But uh, impress the fuck out of me and be the first person to answer, why does Carrie say that? Where did she get that? I'll be back soon with more stuff from. It's paraphrased. But anyway, um, 
I'll be curious if anybody figures it out. And if you figure it out without Googling it, please make a note of that because there are some of you out there who are my age and older who will definitely figure it out if you just are on the right wavelength. You'll go, oh my God, of course that's why she says that because that show was great. But anyway, <laughs> all right, enough with the butt anyways and rambling. I love you guys and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye.